Hello and welcome back to the Best Travel Channel. Today I am in Llandidno, a popular coastal town in Wales. Let's see what we can find. Here stands Coco House. The building was opened in 1883 as the Crandidno Cocoa and Coffee House. It was part of the temperance movement, where working men, their wives and children met to drink cocoa. In 1907, local women were invited to the house and formed the Crandidno branch of the National Union of Women's Suffragette Societies. The pier and promenade are typical features of Victorian coastal resorts. The pier, built in 1877, is the longest in Wales at 700 metres in length, and at the pier head, ships used to dock before setting sail to the Isle of Man. The Little and Great Orms are an iconic part of Landidno, and legend says that the Great Orms resemblance to a dragon at night scared off a Viking invasion. On the way up the Orm is Penedinas Hill Fort. The Hill Fort has over 50 hut circles from the prehistoric age. So on the hill floor we have something called the Rocking Stone and it was allegedly used by Druids back in the ancient days to find the guilty or innocent and if you stood on the stone and it rocked you were innocent but if it stood still you were chucked off the cliff over there apparently so I'm going to have a look and see what happens. Happy Valley Park was donated by Lord Mostyn 10 years after the pier opened. It was carved out of copper mines. 